Oh, got one. Oh, got something right there. Dang, that was cool. Oh, I got one right off that grass. That is awesome. That is just a pretty, pretty bluegill right there. Oh, yep, that dude. What's up everybody, Derek here. And today we are down on the creek to go fishing and see if we can find some fish. I have not been to this particular creek since last year. And this creek is, I've always loved this creek, especially this section. It opens up downstream from me and there's little pools and it's always held good fish, bluegill, panfish, red breast. I mean, just so many different fishers, even supposedly some crappie in here. So. If we're going to be searching around with this thing to see what we can catch today and kind of, you know, where the fish are right now as far as in the season of being in the spawn or whatnot, we will definitely find out. So let's get to fishing. All right, I was downstream and it was virtually like winter time down there for the fish. They were nowhere to be found and I am already seeing tons of fish in here. So hopefully we can figure these guys out and catch quite a few. Hmm, oh, there's panfish up in the shallows. I don't know if they're looking for beds or what they're doing. Oh, there was a hit. Tilapia are bedding. Oh, got one. Little bass came out of those that brush back there. Nice. Come on, buddy. Whoa. That went out myself. That was cool. He tracked that thing down. All right, that's a start. Little bitty, is that a Guadalupe? No, that's a regular largemouth. Cool, thanks bud. Well, got something right there. Oh yes, finally. Look at this, red ear. That's what I'm talking about. Oh man, that was cool. Look at that fat little red ear. Yeah, I think the uh, half pound is only the record on this creek, so I'm pretty sure that would break it. Dang, that was cool. All right, I'm gonna let you go, buddy. Oh, just like that. Not how I meant to. <laughs> Hey, we're gonna have to try that again. He came out from that tree. Goodness. Oh, I got one right off that grass. That was super cool. God, look at all of them. That is awesome. That is just a pretty, pretty bluegill right there. Dang, that is a pretty one. Let's let you go, buddy. my paddle. There you go. God. Dang. Where did they all go? I think they all tucked back up into that brush. right there he thought about it that's that's a good three four pounder right there oh there's another one right there these bad boys staging back in here
They getting ready to spawn. Yep, right there. Just chilling with some bluegill. I've never seen this water back here. We came way upstream. There's like another little pool and pocket back in here. And I have never seen this water this clear back here. Wow, is it clear. If there was a bed, we would definitely see it. I see something up here. Gosh, I've never seen it this clear. Oh, there went a bass. There's a bass. Oh, there's a good sized bass down there. Right there. That's a good sized bass. Two of them together. Wow. There's a deepest spot. It's right over here. There are fish everywhere in here. Oh my. Should be some fish right over here, I would think. I think it's about eight foot right here. There's a big old gar. Look at this thing. just chilling let's get up on top of him get a good look at him there's a bass right there next to him yeah that's a good sized gar right there that's a good oh three or four footer wow and he ain't scared of us at all There go. There he is. We're swimming, going right next to him. He way down in there. Something just hit. Oh, yep, that dude. That dude just hit. That was cool. Out in the middle out here. God, look at the colors on this guy. That's a pretty little largey. Huh, cool. He, he must have been down there in that grass. Thanks, buddy. Well, guys, we didn't catch a ton of fish, but we figured out what stage these fish are in. Back here in this pocket that I was back in there, it was super clear. It was five, six pounders swimming down underneath me in that super clear water. It's usually pretty dingy back in here, but right now I don't know what's going on. It really is cleared up. And then downstream through that little cut is where that spillway is. And gosh, there's just bluegill and 
panfish all over the banks, bass everywhere. They're just searching. I think they're about to jump on beds. So this was one of those days where I can figure out, so if these fish are gonna jump on beds and I'm to wait on the water temperature to rise, let's say five, 10 miles downstream at one of my favorite places as well, then I kind of got it figured out because I know I'm probably within at least a month out from these fish. So definitely something to consider and how to figure out the fish, watching the fish behavior and seeing what they're actually doing as compared to one place to another. And you can translate that to any lake or basically anywhere in the country to figure out what phase the fish will be in during the spawn or you know any time of the year really basically because of that differing water temperature but thanks for watching guys and subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you liked it and i'll see you guys in the next one